Theodore Geisel, better known to the world as the beloved Dr. Seuss, was born in 1904 in Massachusetts. His mother would often soothe her children to sleep by chanting rhymes that she remembered from her youth. Seuss said his mother was the one who gave him the ability and desire to create the rhymes for which he has become so well known. Over the years, Dr. Seuss wrote and illustrated 44 children's books, some of which we'll perform for you today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our production of Hats Off to Dr. Seuss! Let's begin with one of my favorites, Green Eggs and Ham. I am Sam. Sam I am. That's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there or anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a box? Would you like them with a box? Not in a box, not with a box, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you, could you, in a car? Try them, try them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box, I do not like them with a fox, I do not like them in a house, I do not like them with a mouse, I do not like them here or there, I do not like them anywhere, I do not like green eggs and ham, I do not like them Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say, try them, try them and you may, try them and you may I say. 
Sam, if you let me be, I will try them. You will see. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do, I like them, Sam I am. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Dr. Seuss wrote another popular book in 1960, meant to help kids read. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little car. This one has a little star. Say, what a lot of fish there are! Some are red. And some are blue. Some are old. And some are new. Some are sad. And some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and bad and glad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. In 1978, Dr. Seuss wrote another popular children's book meant to promote reading called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. I can read in red. And I can read in blue. And I can read in pickle color too. I can read in red. And in purple and brown. I can read in a circle. And upside down. I can read with my left eye. And I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and Hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat. It makes my eyebrows get red hot. So, reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, because there's so, so much to read. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open and up, all the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. There are so many things to learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more things that you read, the more things that you'll know. The more things that you learn, the more places you'll go. Hey, that reminds me of another book by Dr. Seuss. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations! Today is your day! You're off to great places! You're off and away! You have brains in your head and feet in your shoes and you can steer yourself in any direction you choose! You're on your own! You know what you know and, and you, you are, are the guy who will decide where to go! You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care and some of you will say I don't choose to go there! With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet you're, You're too, too smart, smart not to go down any not-so-good so streets. And you may not find any you want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there, in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry. Don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go! You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly, it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. But with banner flip flapping once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. All the places you'll go, there is fun to be done, there are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with Ball will make you the winningest winner of all! Fame! You'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole world watching you win on TV! Except when they don't. Because sometimes they won't. A 
I'm afraid sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you won't win because you'll play against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much that you all want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hacken cracks howl. Onward, up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Oh. And, and will, will you succeed? succeed? Yes, you will indeed! 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed! Now, dear children, we're at the end of our show. But there's one more thing before we go. Reading's important, whatever you do. It doesn't matter what's what or who's who. Reading will make you smart as a tack. So, so to, to Dr. Seuss, we, we all tip our hats. Keep reading. <laughs> Read. Read.